EA have released a questionable promo and it's got a lot of people talking. With shapeshifters coming to a close, it was time for EA to release a new promo, one that could engage the foot fans and bring attention towards their game. And boy did they do that. For those that missed it, last Friday EA went ahead and released the new Level Up promo. A totally brand new concept that blends together both aspects of the game. Gameplay and pack. Players are able to pack a bunch of different special cards and use them in game to receive even better versions of the same cards. Cards such as Kevin De Bruyne, Renato Sanchez and Alfonso Davies are all included in this. Not only are these cards in packs but players will also be able to complete different SBCs and objectives to obtain them. But what makes this promo so controversial? Why does it have the player base divided? Well, let me tell you. In order for me to explain this, I'm gonna break this down into both pros and cons. And just remember, these are my opinions, and just because I say them, doesn't mean you have to think or believe them too. Moving into our first pro, a very simple one, I think this promo is unique and it's something totally different to anything that we've had before. Never have we been able to pack a card from a pack in the store or a pack that we've saved up and progress it into something more. Yes, you may argue that the footballers promo followed this concept, but those cards were SBC obtainable only and you couldn't actually pack them from normal packs. This is something that the foot community have been asking for for a while now and I'm glad that they finally listened to us. Flipping this on its head and moving into our first con, in order to actually upgrade and evolve the cards into their higher rated version, it can require a serious amount of grind in game. Especially if you're working on one of those bigger name ones such as Kevin De Bruyne or Enzo Fernandez. For example, if you manage to pack yourself the 98 rated version of Kevin De Bruyne, which by the way is going for around 11 million coins, you're asked to score in 30 separate matches with that card whilst also having 7 Belgian players in your starting 11 in order to obtain the 99 rated version. Now don't get me wrong, there are a few players in this promo that only require you to score or assist in 5 separate matches which obviously is a big difference from 30, players such as Jesus Corona and Edinson Cavani. But at this stage in the game, are cards like that going to fit in people's teams? Probably not. Pro number 2 surrounds some of the SBC and objective cards that we have seen being released. Take for example the Teje Savonier SBC that was released only a few days ago. This SBC costs around 40,000 coins to complete but what makes it unique is that you don't actually have to play any gameplay in order to complete them. For this card, in order to upgrade him from his 92 version to his 94 version, all you have to do is complete an upgrade SBC 35 times. And along the way, you'll receive additional rewards such as a team of the season player pack and a shapeshifters player pack. Now, if EA can integrate more of these type of upgrade systems as opposed to the gameplay ones, I think this promo could be a real W. Another special mention regarding SBCs goes out to that new Killian Sildelia card recently released. For a price of just 25,000 coins, you are receiving a 91 rated card and if you manage to play 5 games, you'll receive his upgraded 93 version as well, which in my opinion, looks like one of the, if not the best right backs on the game at the moment. Now don't get me wrong, I do think some of the cards in this promo are fantastic and for a lot of people very usable. But if you're someone like me who grinds the game a lot, most of them probably won't fit your best team. Again, players like KDB, Alfonso Davies, Enzo Fernandez, they're all probably going to fit your starting 11. But when you look at the rest of the players, players like Edinson Cavani, Nabil Fakir, Dusan Vlahovic, you're probably going to have similar, if not better players in your team already. Now this might just be a me thing and I could be slightly picky, but I just want to see some juiced up cards. Given my overall opinion on the promo, I think it's a win. It combines both aspects of the game and if you're someone like me who is a regular grinder of FIFA, you're probably going to have a lot of fun upgrading the cards that you pack. My only concern is, for the average player, it's probably going to create an even bigger gap between them and the above average player. But as a whole, I respect EA for trying something new and hopefully in the future, they can learn from this promo and execute something a little bit better. Comment down below if you have packed and upgraded any of the new level up cards and how many of them fit your team. And on that note, if you're looking for new players to fit your team, I think you'll enjoy this video right here.